on the Toyotas have it where the oil filter is actually in a housing. And then you have, you have to drain the housing of oil before you get the housing out, which usually means you're gonna get burned when this thing comes out. Like that. That crap is hot. <laughs> but oh well. It's worth burning yourself a little to have This is actually the more important thing. It is like draining the oil oil pan. It's just like that's that's basically easy. It's the one thing that a lot of people get wrong is is this thing. So most some people over tighten them the uh, later ones get this are not made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're from not the US they're made of plastic and people over torque them and they crack um, if 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 you can get one switch out your plastic with an aluminum one then you don't have to worry about it so after that's done this is the special tool you need to loosen this thing. we got here is the housing. Pull this old oil filter out. Give it a nice little, a nice little cleaning. And we have brand new O-rings right here. Ready to get rid of the old one, which is right here. Give it a little bit more of a proper cleaning. But I really like this new system. I, I just wish that Toyota would give us the, uh, the Mobile One variant of, this, of the drain. The Mobile One version is screw on. So you can get your hand away when it starts draining. Okay, so okay. Now, uh, let me turn this over. Give the bottom a nice cleaning. And you see here, this top, that's got to be clean. Now we have a, you can't see it because it fell out when it, I dropped this thing into the, uh, the oil tank, but there is actually an O-ring that goes there. That's this one right here. There 
go. I'll tighten it up again when I put it in. Okay, now we just gotta take the new filter, pop it in, and it's ready to go in. Well, almost. Just like any old oil filter that you put on a brand new one, you always take a little bit of your new oil and put it on the O-ring. And then it just screws back up. And take the best care not to cross thread. If you got it on right, it'll just spin right on with ease. And it just goes till it stops. If you want to give it just one more little check. Like that. There it is. And then do one last turn of that. And there, that's it. All you gotta do is add your oil, start the car, check your thing, and uh, you're done. I have a lot more stuff planned for my beloved RAV4. And don't forget, I also have my IS, which I have stuff to do, and especially a bunch of special stuff for the 8.6 is coming. This is 84 Hachi signing off.